Being a local boy, I was born and raised in Hawaii, on Oahu. Growing up in the country, you know, graduated from the high school down the road, Kahuku, and you know, my, my days as a kid consisted of opening the sliding door, running out across the yard, and just jumping in the ocean. What I'm trying to do for, for my kids now, my family, is to do the same thing, give them the opportunity to be free. It's okay to just go and tumble in the shore break and you don't have to like stick to the norm that everyone else wants you to do. So I feel like it, it, it raises a creative mind, you know, in the kids, in your kids and in yourself. How can you not think about what's beyond the horizon, you know what I mean? How can you not look out there and be like, what's past that line of uh, clouds? And, and that's how I was um, when I was a kid. I wanted to go and see other waves, other beaches. Some people, they describe being in the mountains as their home, you know, and anywhere they are, as long as they get in, up in the trails and, and in the mountains, they feel at home. So that's the same thing with me, feeling at home anywhere in the world once my feet hit the sand. I have a pretty relaxed schedule. I kind of go with the flow, you know. Try not to overdo too much and just enjoy a little more nowadays, you know. And so when I get off of work, I jam home and we're back, you know, on the beach, maybe in time for the sunset and to cruise as a family. Because I've, I've, you know, mastered so many different uh, types of sports, whether it's um, in the in the surf or on land, I want to pass that on. Um, just give them the tools and let them decide if it's something they want to do. And sometimes you don't even realize that you're teaching them anything by just being there with them, you know, and and being a part of what they're doing. Um, and it, it, it just turns out to be like a lesson you didn't realize you're giving, you know? And surfing, that's always been the love of my life since I was five years old, you know? And, and through my career as a lifeguard with the city and county, I can't even, I can't even put on into words how many perfect sessions I had there and it really was like the highlight of, of my life really it was that, that time I spent at that beach you know and riding waves on my lunch breaks and in my heart I'm a lifeguard for life you know and it's one of those things where once you do that rescue for the first time you, you bring them in safely to the beach it's like a feeling you'll never forget. Raising my, my two boys um, you know, both myself and my wife, she was a competitive swimmer her whole life. We both want our kids to be so good in the water swimming wise, we, we know that they're gonna be okay and they can handle themselves. Lifeguarding, paddling, canoe, racing, all that stuff, it's like, it doesn't, it doesn't matter if you are surfing or you're, you're, you're out in the middle of the ocean um, doing water changes off of your canoe into an escort boat. You have to respect the ocean no matter where you are because things can change in, in, in an instant. Like it's been the best experience. I couldn't think of a better place to grow up. And um, you know, in between all the, the contests and stuff like that happening during the winter, you know, we we all still we try and keep a, a tight knit community among a lot a lot of what's going on today. <laughs>